Hello, and welcome to the first of a series of screencasts on LaTeX, the scientific document typesetting system. This series will eventually form a self-contained video short course on using LaTeX. Our primary audience is students learning LaTeX for use in their coursework, but we hope these are accessible and useful for everyone. So in this screencast, we're going to learn about LaTeX and how it works, think about its advantages versus a word processor, and then give some places on the web where you can find and download LaTeX to your computer or use it in a browser. So what is LaTeX? LaTeX is a software system that produces professionally typeset documents. It was created by computer scientist Donald Knuth for typesetting technical documents with lots of mathematical notation in them. Typesetting mathematics is still its main strength, but the system is now capable of typesetting all kinds of documents, including research posters, complex graphical objects, and even sheet music. LaTeX is very different from a word processor, which is a single program on your computer where you type in text using formatting styles provided by the program itself. LaTeX instead is more like a programming language. You type in your content into a text editor and then insert commands into the text that will control the appearance of the output. These documents that contain the source code all end in the file extension .tex. Once the text document is created, you then compile the source code using the LaTeX system that is separate from the text editor used to edit your content. Once the code is compiled successfully, LaTeX produces a PDF that contains the finished product. Other file types, such as encapsulated PostScript, are also possible for LaTeX to produce. This three-step system is more complicated than using a single word processor, but in some ways it's actually simpler because the source codes are small, since they just contain text and contain no separate formatting. The source codes can be shared and used across multiple platforms with no compatibility issues, and because you can create templates for documents which you can reuse over and over again with minimal changes. And one of the big advantages of LaTeX is that it is absolutely free, and variations of it are available for Word, Mac, Linux, and many other operating systems. In the next screencast, we'll get started with making your first LaTeX document, but between now and then, you'll need to gain access to LaTeX, and there are several ways to do this. If you're a Windows user, the standard LaTeX system is called MicTech and can be downloaded and installed from MicTech.org. If you use a Mac, the standard system is called MacTech and can be downloaded and installed from TUG.org, that stands for Tech Users Group, slash MacTech. The MacTech Extras are utilities that you might find useful, such as an equation editor, but they are not necessary for installation. If you are a Linux user, your Linux distribution probably already has LaTeX installed along with the operating system. Check your package man management system and see. If it's not installed already, you can install it from there. There are also some web-based versions of LaTeX that require no installation at all. The most popular one is ScribTech, which allows you to enter, typeset, and store a limited number of documents online. The upside of ScribTech is that there is no installation necessary and the files are stored in the cloud. The downside is that you have to be online to use it, you don't get the flexibility of a local system, and unless you pay a subscription there are only so many documents you can have at one time. Chances are your professor, a friend, or a Google search can be of help in installing your system if you should run into any roadblocks. So in the next screencast we'll get started using your LaTeX system to start making a simple text and math document. See you there!